uh, thank you, Ashraf. I believe what you uh, what you did was really a great job, and we really appreciate it. And um, the uh, the idea that it is it was done by private sector, it's also added value for uh, for that. It uh, it means that uh, it's not only the government which is going with uh, I would say program made with. Uh, the Israelis, but uh, uh, private sector is also joining as they do uh, through trade uh, between the two countries and to the U.S. Uh, yesterday, uh, also in, uh, in the joint committee we had, uh, we added uh, 16 new companies to join uh, QIZ. And uh, I am seeing that as a good sign. It uh, usually in uh, previous committees we were adding two three companies to join uh, so uh, uh, adding uh, uh, 16 companies is just in just one committee uh, and as I said earlier we meet every three months it's in itself uh, a kind of a message that uh, more people are realizing that uh, QIZ is uh, a good program and they can see themselves as uh, they can that uh, they can play role uh, in that and uh, 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 usually we have orientations for new companies to let them know about the opportunities and the procedures uh, connected to the to the program uh, again as i cannot uh, uh, say that uh, uh, how uh, important that we jointly work together and be creative in advancing num some new ideas so this program can go uh, further. I'm hopeful that uh, uh, if we meet again maybe in a year or two uh, we will, that we will be talking about new trade figures uh, through this program and I uh, must say that this program actually survived many crises uh, in the past, even during, uh, even during the time of the uh, Muslim Brothers when they were ruling. We were also always meeting in, in time. And so it is a program uh, which I believe is even better than FTAs. Uh, I don't know if you know or not, but some countries which uh, have uh, FTAs with the U.S. seek actually to have uh, uh, this kind of program, uh, QIZ, because it gives some advantages uh, which are uh, uh, which do not exi exist in uh, FTAs. Uh, 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 like, for instance, if if you are in the uh, garment business here, you are allowed actually to import fabrics and to uh, have it made in Egypt. In FTAs, you cannot do that. So we, we really have to take advantage of the program and what it offers, and which is a lot. And uh, again, whether here in Egypt, we welcome uh, any questions from your side or any interest in uh, doing business through uh, QIZ, I'm pretty sure that with Yaniv, uh, with the Israeli community and Israeli businessmen, they do the same. With the U.S. Embassy in Cairo, they do a, a great job also in, in that and uh, uh, progressing the program uh, that we, we all have. Uh, uh, nothing more to say, but uh, again, I, I really appreciate uh, this that you put together uh, this uh, excellent uh, conference and uh, we believe that it should be followed in the future uh, by uh, similar <laughs> events or that uh, whether through you or other uh, uh, agencies uh, uh, that can uh, put more light on uh, what we do and what we can do and introduce uh, new ideas which we really need so we can uh, go forward and help the uh, private sector here in Egypt and in Israel uh, to go forward. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Rabi. Yaniv, do you want to say something? Ready? Chris, would you like?
gentlemen, Your Excellency, thank you very, very much for your presence here. I, and gentlemen, the same thing. Thank you for your support, Dr. Ashraf Rabi. It wouldn't have been possible without that, that sentiment of cooperation and trust between the government and the private sector and then other countries as well. So uh, thank you very much. We will move on to the award for the best uh, exporter and we'll take a, a picture. Thank you.